Hi all, in this video I'll show you how to get the height of flexible height gallery in PowerWebs. In this demo, I have a collection of gallery that represent a address and ID. So this has three labels inside of this gallery. One is ID, one is address, and address 2. And one and address 1 and 2 is coming from the user's input and I just put it there. For example, address 1 and address 2 2 is long and that address as the size grows the size of the record for each each item grows as well and you can get the exact size of that gallery as much as you want let's start Right, what I've done is put a flexible height gallery in this palette and remove the template padding to zero, so make it easier to calculate. Right, first I will put a divider to this gallery by clicking the icons and go to rectangles. Right, I'll change the color a bit and set the height to 2 so make it like a single line right what happens is once i put this divider based on the first record it works for the first record but only for the first so the second record has a little bit longer for the address one and third one has a little bit long address two and it cuts right off which we don't want it so what you need to do is, I'll change the name for a second. What you need to do is get the Y version of that divider to max label address one dot height and label address two dot height. So what this will do is basically calculate or compare the first and second value and give me the higher value. For the second case, the height of this address one is higher than the second one, so the height, the y position of this divider is set to the height of address one label. The the other way goes around with the third label, third record. I'll add another item to compare, which is the ID label, because sometimes the ID label is higher, is taller than other two labels, right? So this one works very well and nicely, and I'll put some paddings after the record, so it gives a little bit of a margin between the label and the next record. Right, this works fine and if you add multiple items it adds it but the issue happens when you cannot uh, you have to get the height of the gallery or if you put this one into the scrollable screen or the canvas or dot cut that doesn't work that well because you will end up with two scroll bars. Or if you want to put something below this gallery, you need to get you need to calculate the height of the gallery. To do that, what we need to do is I'll put a label. So we just need to calculate the y position of that the divider, which I'll do like shape divider dot y position plus height so that will be the height of the single record if you look at it 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 is reflecting the height because the one with the id become a tallest one is 47 same as the other one and two line is 60 and three line is 80 i don't know what how that works but if you check it it should be reflecting the record 
find. So my, our goal will be adding up those all those numbers and putting into the height property of this gallery, or we'll just put it into as an indication. You can use some formula, but that doesn't work sometimes. So I'll use tooltip property of this divider. Tooltip is the, the, the message that user will see when they put the mouse on, but I'll use it to store this variable. So the tooltip for this divider will have the self.y plus self.height. So that will have the same number, same value as the label we just put it in. To sum the numbers of that tooltip in this each divider, we'll need to use formula sum and gallery gallery dot all items comma shape divider oops dot tooltip. Right, so the the this label says the height is three to eight. I think that's correct. Let's put this number, copy it, and put into the height property of the gallery itself. And the extra thing you can do is because that gallery 3 is the gallery itself, so you can just put self to refer it. And once you play it, you no, you no longer see the scroll bar because there is nothing to scroll, it's displaying everything. And I put the background for this gallery with the very light gray and in, it ends right at the last record which we got the height of the gallery right. That's, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions just leave your comments. Thanks all.